Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. I'd like to talk today about oils and why some oils can be healthy and why some oils can actually damage your health. Now, if we walk into a typical supermarket or high street shop, uh, we see a large range of oils. Um, it can be very confusing which sort of oils to buy, um, but generally we can split those oils into two categories. There are uh, unrefined oils and there are refined oils. Now the difference between the two is very difficult to uh, determine when you go into the shop and you have to have some background information to be able to decipher which oil uh, has a particular origin. Um, if we start with the smallest category, which is the unrefined oils, uh, it's actually very difficult in the United Kingdom to find unrefined oils. Uh, even health food shops um, don't sell uh, just uh, unrefined oils, they sell the refined category as well. Um, so you have to be very careful what you're buying uh, because unrefined oils uh, are good for the health. They uh, actually have health benefits, whereas the refined oils uh, can actually be damaging to the health. So uh, what do we, how do we classify uh, an unrefined oil? Well, an unrefined oil will generally be a, uh, an oil that has uh, had its oil extracted from the seed or the nut by a purely mechanical means. In other words, the, the seed or the nut, uh, the original plant material that contains the oil, has been crushed and the oil is allowed to drip out of the, oil, uh, the, the seed or the nut and that oil is collected and then bottled and you buy that oil as uh, it has come out of the original plant material. Now the advantage of that is that the oil contains many of the phytonutrients that are present in the seed or the nut and therefore when you consume the oil you're consuming those phytonutrients. Many of those phytonutrients are antioxidants and they are in the plant material in order to prevent the fatty acids within the nut or the seed going rancid. Um, so you are consuming uh, uh, usually a, a low amount of rancid oil, you're consuming antioxidants and other phytonutrients that have health benefits. Uh, consuming oils from uh, unrefined uh, sources is as close as you will get to probably to eating the original seed or nut. Um, there are uh, some examples of unrefined oils. Extra virgin olive oil is an example of an unrefined oil. Um, the small particles uh, within the oil that you see are the original phytonutrients and pieces of plant material from the original olives. And by law, if you buy extra virgin olive oil, it is only allowed to have been extracted by mechanical means. Now, if we go to the other types of oil, the refined oils, uh, we find differences in the way that they are produced. Generally, these types of oils are mechanically pressed. Um, however, to increase the yield, increase the amount of oil that the companies can extract from the nut or the seed, there are additional um, steps in order to be able to um, increase the amount of oil they can get and therefore increase their profits. So what we tend to find is that they will use solvents um, to be able to pull those last bits of oil from the plant material and they will also use heat. Now this is problematic because generally the types of oils that we're talking about are monounsaturated or polyunsaturated and that means they have double bonds in their structure and those double bonds are susceptible to oxidation. So when heat and chemicals are applied to these fatty acids, they tend to oxidize and that means they go rancid. So the more heat and the more chemicals that you tend to apply to these oils, the more rancid they are and rancid oils are associated with ill health because your body uh, uses them as tox it identifies them as toxins. They, they are metabolic poisons. Um, these supermarket oils that are refined uh, contain high amounts of metabolic poisons and if you consume them regularly um, there, you have, it has been shown that uh, there is a higher risk of developing certain diseases particularly things like metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes um, and this is because the rancid oils interfere with your normal uh, 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 pathways, the, the pathways in your body that metabolize the essential fatty acids and they interfere with these pathways and therefore they cause inflammation and they cause disease. Now let's go back to extra virgin olive oil because this is a good example. 
if we look at extra virgin olive oil next time you're in the supermarket take a bottle of extra virgin olive oil and take a bottle of normal olive oil that doesn't say extra virgin on the label you will notice that the extra virgin olive oil is a much deep darker green um, it is a deeper color if you can find a bottle of extra virgin olive oil that has been unfiltered you will see it is even darker still uh, the darkness is the small amounts of plant material that are suspended in the oil and that plant material contains antioxidants and all of the beneficial phytochemicals in the original olives. Now extra virgin olive oil is widely available. Uh, it's protected by law. In other words, if the label says extra virgin olive oil, it has to be extracted only by mechanical means and therefore you are assured to be getting a good healthy oil. Most of the other oils you will find in a supermarket will be refined. Um, there, there are very few oils you can buy in a supermarket except for extra virgin olive oil that are healthy. Most of the oils in supermarkets are disease causing because they are refined. So we're talking about corn oils, we're talking about sunflower oils, we're talking about rapeseed oils. All of the light coloured oils that you see on the shelves have been refined. If we go into a health food uh, shop, there tends to be a wider uh, range of oils. Some of them are refined, but there are also unrefined oils. For example, you might be able to find uh, flaxseed oil. You might be able to find walnut oil uh, in its unrefined state. And generally, these oils should be kept in the refrigerator. They should be kept cool. They should be in an opaque bottle in order to protect the fatty acids um, from going rancid. But a health food shop is a much better place to buy an oil. Now, one other thing to mention about refined and unrefined oils, if you take an unrefined oil, a healthy oil, and you cook with it, you are applying heat to it. And that heat is the same sort of heat that is applied by the companies that extract the oils to create uh, uh, refined oils. Uh, you will damage the fatty acids uh, within the oil structure. Um, the smoke is an indicator that toxic chemicals are being produced. The heat will alter the fatty acids and cause them to go rancid. And when you consume um, those sorts of oils, healthy oils, after you have cooked with them, they are really no better than the refined oils. You need to be very careful cooking with oils. Generally, the only oil you really should cook with is a saturated oil because they are much more stable. Uh, extra virgin olive oil is slightly less stable than saturated oils and also when you get to the poly unsaturated oils they really should not be used for cooking because they are so unstable as soon as you apply heat they, uh, they the fatty acids become oxidized now if you have to cook with oils uh, obviously you should be buying uh, unrefined oils healthy oils if you have to cook with them uh, add some water to the oil when you cook with it and this will lower the temperature and prevent some of the rancidity. The best way to use oils in your food is to steam or boil or roast your vegetables or whatever you're eating and add the oil after you have cooked the oil, uh, uh, cooked the food uh, and that way the oil will remain in its natural state. Now oils are obviously fat, they contain a lot of calories, and they are not in their original plant material. So you have to be careful when consuming oils because it's easy to consume too, uh, too much. If we look at nuts and seeds, it's actually um, it difficult to consume a lot of oil from their natural plant sources because the high amounts of fiber that you tend to find in plant material tends to limit the amount, the intake that you can have of these oils. So that is another caveat. If you do use these oils, you need to be careful that you don't over consume them. So in general, when you go into the supermarket, have a look at all of the different oils. Uh, ignore anything and leave it on the shelves if it has been refined. Um, the only uh, types of oils you should be buying are extra virgin olive oil and anything that has been uh, uh, not processed in any way other than mechanically squeezing the oil from the nut or the seed. And that will be specifically stated on the label when you look at it. If it doesn't say that this oil has only been mechanically extracted, no heat and no solvent has been applied, then you can assume that that has happened in which case it will be an unhealthy oil. Now studies that have looked at 
uh, oils and people that cook in oils have shown that those people who use um, things like sunflower oil, uh, things like rapeseed oil, and they cook in them, and they cook things like chips in them, and they, they fry in them, these people have much higher incidence of disease, including cancer and cardiovascular disease. Uh, it's, it's widely uh, thought now that these oils are metabolic poisons and they should be avoided and should not be part of a high quality diet.